Can I have four of you? Come. Four of you, come. Please find me a seat. Get me a seat. Grab your seat. Grab your own seat. Your own seat. No, put back the seat. No, go bring your own seat because you sit on it. Is it your seat? Where, which seat are you sitting on? Is this your own? Okay, bring it. Now, I want you to stay here. Stand on it. Because that's why I say you should come with your own seat. Because you will not stand on another man's seat. And then you now go and sit on your own seat. So stand on it. Ah, are you okay? You don't want? You're good. Right. So, and Jesus said, something is going on here. Okay, you know what? Go back. Jesus comes to the temple. Now, look at the two of them. Remember, I'm looking at dynamics of a new season. And Jesus said, I came here and I found out that they were buying and selling. This person will sell to this person and this person will pay this person. And Jesus said, this is so wrong. This is not what this place is designed for. He says, it's supposed to be a house of prayer. For as long as they continue to do this, it will not birth a season that they were ordained for. And Jesus said, no, stop this because it is just between you and you. He said, let me introduce you to what this place should be. This transaction that is going on between you and you, I give you what man can afford. You give me what man can pay. You give me the product of a man. I will give you the money of a man. And Jesus said, no. This design is wrong. This is supposed to be a house of prayer. In other words, I break the code and I want to refix you. This transaction is no longer between you and you. It's supposed to be between you and a God that is bigger than you. So it's supposed to be called a house of prayer. And prayer is simply transaction between God and man. But they reduced the transaction between man and man. And God said, no, no. The, this man, you see, you, if you have to get the product of this man, and it is between, you have to pay him. And he will give you according to what you have paid. But if you would change the transaction and face him, to him that is able to do, exceedingly abundantly above what you can ask or think so for as long as you think man transact like man believe man put all your hope in man you will not be able to assess this and Jesus said stop this transaction this is the one that I have ordained this house is supposed to be called a house of prayer. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Because this transaction between man and man will have to stop. If you understand, it shall fire. I wish you can thunder it again, thunder fire. Can you shout it again and shall fire? Can you shout it again and shall fire? people of God for as long as you continue to make it all about I pray for you I pray I, I pray may the God of all flesh in whom there's no very bonus neither shoulder of turning may the Lord show up like God in your life can your amen be louder than it is may God show up in a wondrous manner in your life receive it of the Lord receive it of the Lord let your amen turn down take your seat if the transaction still remains between man and man, there are things you cannot afford and there are things this man cannot give you. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. For as long as it remains between man and man, you have to behave well for this man to give you something. 
the day you don't behave well, he's not going to give you anything. For he, this transaction to be successful, you have to pay. Don't owe too much. Because there's a way you will owe. He will no longer give you anything. But when I look at him, there are days I don't qualify. And he say his mercy is here. This is the time, kind of transaction he wants me to be in Kopande Koshadi Bale Dabala. He says, Listen, they operate with the code of man to man. Not understand that it is the code of God to man. That is what actually causes at the as your amen were thunder. Karadi Balashada. May the supernatural overtake every area of your life. Can your amen be louder than that? 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 Somebody shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Hear me. Man can only service your season. Man cannot create a new season for you. Did you hear what I just said? Always remember this. Man can service a season, but man does not have the capacity. Except God mandates a man, man cannot create a new season. Go and check the seasons of the Bible. He's the one that makes them happen. Did you hear what I just said? And he's the one that changes them. So the first thing Jesus did was to bring, you know, people of God, we believe men more when they say, I will help you. More than when God said, I will help you. If a man walks up to you and says, by 3 p.m., I'm going to give you one million. The way your, your body will just be doing you. One, one million, one, one million, one, one million, one, one million, one, one million. But if God says, I've, preve I've preserved your destiny, he will not do you like you are knowing like. So God is saying, can my word make more sense than the word of man? Can you trust me more than the word of ordinary people? Can you believe me more than the word of ordinary people? Am I communicating? You, you may return to your seat. Lift up your right hand. Say my father. Say it again like you mean it. Say my father. Say help me to trust you more. Help me to depend on the transaction of heaven more than the transaction of men. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Amen.